Hi everyone, I'm Bill Jadropoulos, the host of the Anfish Video Fishing Blog. Doing a little blog today on bait casters and spooling them up. I'm not going to get into detail with this one. Sorry, I've got my cell phone beeping in the middle of a video. Um, but I will do some more in-depth ones on the components of, a, of an actual bait caster. This little blog is going to be on actually how to spool on braided line. Braided line, as a lot of you will probably know, has no flex, no stretch. Um, when you're putting it onto an actual bait caster, the diameter of braided line is also going to be different. So you may get a six, say a six pound test diameter braided line. Um, that's going to be really, 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 really thin when it's compared to mono. So I'll use a different example. 40, 40 pound test braided line will be the diameter of six pound mono. One of the key little tips to do is build a base. So on a bait caster, I'll put a piece of hockey tape on the bottom of the spool just for better grip. I'll spool on 20 to 30 feet of mono or fluorocarbon line. That gives it a little bit of stretch. What that's going to do is once you've got your line fully spooled on with your braid and your casting, and you set that hook into a fish, you're not going to break your gears. It's going to give it a little bit of flex down at the bottom of the spool. When it comes to actually spooling the braided line on, you're going to connect it to that with a uni knot, and I'll do some videos uh, further on in my video blog pertaining to how to connect two pieces of line together. Let me just turn that phone off again one more time. The trick that I've learned and I've read about it is I turn the drag. The drag is actually the star right here, that star component that I'm turning. I turn it forward as tight as possible, and when I crank that braided line on, I try and put it onto the spool as tight as possible, build a very, very solid foundation to that line. What that's going to do is cut down and eliminate a little bit of the chopping of the line into your actual spool. Uh, it's going to help with the bird nesting, professional overrun, whatever we want to reference that as. But the key thing is with braided line, you can't just spool it directly on really loose. It will cause you lots of problems. It, it does have a tendency to dig right down into the spool. You'll get these weird loops. It's frustrating. Key thing there is pull them out and try and actually just get that knot out. But just taking a few seconds to do a little video blog on braided line itself and how it goes onto a bait caster. Hope this tip helps you guys. See you next time. Thanks.